G'day guys. Um, welcome to the Majesty 100. If you've saw, if you've already seen the Majesty 120 video that we made earlier this week, uh, two videos in fact, a detailed walkthrough, test drive, uh, chat about the operational side with the crew, and a walkthrough of the interior. Um, we're now here on board the Majesty 100. We have just been for a cruise. The sun is setting here in Cannes. It's a beautiful evening. We've just been for a short cruise tonight and I have had a chance to check out um, some of the operational side and the layout of this boat. So in this video, we're gonna do that. Um, we're not gonna talk to any of the crew because they, uh, they're they knocking off. Everyone's exhausted. It's the end of the boat show, so they deserve a rest as well. So I'm just gonna explain as much as I can and what I know and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. My name's Dan Jones. Welcome to Dan's Boat Life, by the way. Um, if you like this content, uh, consider subscribing, supporting the channel on our Patreon account. We make these videos, or I make these videos for you to hopefully help you find out what boats you wanna buy. So anyway, we're starting up here on the entertainment space, on the entertainment deck. Um, check out the bar, one, two, three, four stools. Um, we've got everything you need, including a, a Barbie just here. Check that out. So you can do your, do your teppanaki setups here if you needed to. and just come back, hopefully the sun's not gonna ruin this picture, so you might have to go over here to, to check it all out, Marley. But all this furniture, um, Majesty, built by, by the Golf Craft Group, they do everything in-house. So um, what does that mean for you? You can actually have almost anything you want, and changes, additions, customizations are absolutely possible. But this whole area can be bathed uh, with a shade cloth, if you like, or bathe, bathed in sun, and then you can see the radar masts up on the top, the communication. We won't go to the bow just yet because they're still sorting out the anchor because we've just parked the boat. But check this out. Um, door, open. Huh? That's pretty cool. It's not actually voice activated, that's a, just a button there. But come on inside of the Sky Lounge. So if you want to get out of the heat or the cold, this is the place to come because the view is amazing with these vertical windows here you just you have a commanding view over the whole boat and whatever the location is that you are you have this wonderful lounges here you got a tv just there and a bit of a casual dining area just here which makes sense on these timber floors going out of the teak deck just there so i'm going to try and keep this walkthrough moving because i don't want to make it too long so what we're going to do we're going to go straight down these stairs well protected good size stairs And just because there's a few people still on board, we're gonna go straight in this way. So welcome to the main saloon. This is actually now one of my favorite interior layouts. It's a very Palm Beachy vibe, I felt. So we got these timber floors, got these nice couches, the colors, blues and creams are all very cool. But you've got huge, almost floor to ceiling windows with the blinds, the nice roof details, and then into a formal dining area. It doesn't have the separation like on the 120, so it's more open through flow. Massive TV just here, and it's all one level from the back deck. From here, we go straight forward. Got a little cupboard here for all your plates and bits and pieces. Access to the decks just here. I think this was a linen cupboard in here, and we have a day head in here, which is currently locked, because someone's probably on it. Apologies. But come into the master, just come straight in actually, and try and appreciate all this. So single level master, just soak that up. So imagine the views out these windows when you're on anchor. You've got your own space, you've got a couple of little chairs here to hang out, you've got a nice desk, really nice space over here. All the furniture details are beautiful with these curves. That's the anchor going down because we're just berthing the boat. And your own little private office. Just try and get that into, into frame there, Marley. Everyone needs an office on a boat like this. And it's a nice private space out of the way. And then you come straight in here into your walkthrough wardrobe or dresser and your head. So massive marble line shower, toilet, bidet, cup, two sinks, all this fancy stuff. It's what you would expect, really, on a nice boat like this. And then what we'll do, got your safe just here, we'll go straight down to the guest accommodation. Something's in there, but I saw someone disappear in there, so we won't disturb her. Come down this quite nice little stairways and into this foyer area, which is quite welcoming. 
So we've got the mirrors there, got this all set up just here. I think if you were guests, you know, boats like these are really well suited to charter. Um, the reason being, you could have, you know, adult couple, adult couple, and then three kids, three kids, and another adult couple upstairs. So that's three adult couples and six kids. That's pretty good. So we're coming here on starboard side, and we can still hear the anchor going up and down if you're hearing noises and the crew's cleaning the boat. Um, beautiful double cabin here. We've got some lockers just on the, or cupboards on the port side for storage. Nice little storage areas here and your own private. Just go in there and just show that. Flat screen TV. I, I really like the styling on this boat. I know it's all individually done, so you do whatever you want to do. They actually have their own centre in Dubai where you can actually put on the goggles. They've got all the different materials that you can select and they will give you a virtual experience of what your boat's gonna be like. So you can absolutely customize it to your own tastes. But I'm walking on this really soft, lovely carpet. The air smells, it's got that new boat smell about it. The, the, the waft of the air conditioning is just coming out from the vents just here. You got the big picture windows. You could sit up in bed here and there's you know, having the cupboards on the center line, it gives you a sound break between your next cabin, so you're gonna have a good amount of privacy. The doors have got a, a good thickness, and they've got this rubber seal on the way around. So once again, when you're in your cabin, you're in your own little cocoon of privacy. Um, mirror image of the head on this side, so we'll just look at that quickly. So we are effective or essentially mirroring the other cabin on starboard. Then we go through our foyer area here, um, just to cover a little fire hose, power boards, crew related operation here. And we go into the first kiddies cabin. So I'll just come straight in. So decent size singles, one, two, a, a Pullman berth, which just comes down from here. For those of you that don't know, that's just like, like a, a bed that folds down like so. So that's how you get the three kids in here. Kids would love this, but it's a nice cabin. It's safe, got lots of soft padding around the place. Not, no hard edges really, even that's all uh, soft just there so kids aren't gonna hurt themselves if they're having pillow fights and here's the hanging locker in here and the kiddies toilet in there also with a separate shower so big screen TV up on the wall and then what you do on this particular boat you just go forward about a, a meter and then to starboard and the other kiddies cabin which is almost the same, but it's not a mirror image. So we do have the Pullman, the two singles here, um, the two big picture windows, but the head is in a slightly different position. So go in there, it's got the big screen TV, and the head and shower are in a slightly different location just because the cabin's a little bit offset to allow for the stairs. So come on back up. Um, if those guests are off, we'll check out the aft deck and Let's just see, yes, I think this is our opportunity. Come on back. So, the beauty of this layout is if you're an owner, this is your area to enjoy. So you come on straight through, you've got the best seat in the house, you've got your formal dining, you've got your aft deck just here, through these two big doors. That door down there is down to the engine bay, but this is your party place. So. We've got a massive big outdoor table. We're all protected in the, sh in the sun. We've got a drop down shade just here. And notice this, same on starboard, drop down wings. So we can expand this whole area when we're having a party and everybody has got facility to enjoy themselves. So I think now that the guests are off the boat, let's also just go and cover the, uh, the bow. So come back up these stairs because that is a real big highlight. So we're just coming up the stairs, up to the entertainment and the Sky Lounge deck, and you go forward these quite wide walkways to the bow, and check this out, guys. How good's this? So the guys are just finishing off the final berthing of the boat, but what a wonderful place to hang out of an evening, which is what we just did. You got your sun lounge just there. You got your proper outside dining. This is your evening spot to enjoy a meal under the stars. It's, it's absolutely delightful. You got enough space here for uh, the whole party, essentially. These tables will fold out. They drop down as well. So you can turn this, into big, this whole thing into a, a bed, but you also have your, your sun lounge there and got the cool chairs, the beach chairs. 
The anchoring setup is just here. Two anchors. They've obviously just been set and one little forward facing love chair just there. Come on back. So what we'll do, we'll go down the uh, starboard side this time. And I think um, what we'll cover now, we'll just head straight down to the swim deck, have a look at that, and then we'll actually start to tick off some of the operational features of the boat. So that goes, we're now straight down to the main deck level, whereas on the port side, we went up to the sky bridge and then forward. So what we're gonna do, if you wanna exit the boat, it's just out on starboard. And if you wanna go down to the swim deck, it's just down those, these stairs here on port. And this is your tender garage. You probably would just keep jet skis down here, but this is how much space you have. A boat like this, I would imagine, you're gonna tow a tender. You're gonna tow a big rib, a luxury rib of some sort. And it makes more sense to keep like just a Williams jet tender or a jet ski in here and then use this as a beach club. And then when you, when you stop at your location, you roll out the jet ski or the Williams jet tender, deploy it, it'll come out on rollers in a little cradle which goes out on these tracks. When it gets to this position, this platform drops in the water, deploys your toys, and then your big rib, which you've probably been towing behind you, you use that for running into the shops and going out for, for party nights and all that sort of stuff. So that's that, let's go forward. Hello, Ali. This is my cousin, everyone. She's in, she's in France and she decided to join me. She's just staying out of the way. Um, so, let's go forward and we'll surprise the crew, shall we? So, <laughs> so surprise, surprise. So, surprise, you're on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is all happening on the run here. Um, here we are in the galley, and we'll turn that we'll turn that music off. So here we are in the galley. Um, first thing that's worth pointing out, you can just close the galley off that sliding door from the main saloon. So the crew can operate here. We also have access to the helm. What we'll actually do, we'll just run up to the helm, just so you can see. So access to the helm is via two ways, from the galley where we just came, or just from here, the sky lounge. So we had this opening door just here, which you may not have noticed before, which was closed. And that's how the, 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 the captain can come forward uh, or come aft and up onto the deck or down through the galley and out through a side door out onto to get the bow, get to the bow, et cetera. So what I will do, I'll just quickly run through the operational systems on this helm because I'm no expert on this one, but I know we've got the, uh, it's the MAN 1900 horsepowers on this one. So that looks like communication. Obviously we've got our throttles here. This one looks like we've got high, okay, stabilizer, thruster, hydraulics. Hmm, wonder if that's bound stern, don't know. I reckon that's a rudder, uh, rudder operation just there. This is a keypad. For the Garmin's just here, we have an autopilot just here. That's our engine operation, rudder angle indicator, trim tabs, um, engine operation as well. Um, don't know what that is. One, two, three screens, they're all matching. As you can see, we've got cameras, um, we've got navigation, and we've got radar AIS, I would say, on that one. Uh, wiper control, searchlights, um, you know, yacht control horn, crew galley, so these are pumps lights, that's a night vision FLIR system, no idea what that is. Um, Garmin, okay, we've just got some tankage on here, and then we've got, what do we have, Mistral, hmm, no idea. And then communications. So, I'm not, I'm not a commercial skipper, I'm not gonna pretend that I am. Um, navigation just here, nice little area to hang out on passage, just in the corner here, that's gonna be comfortable for crew and guests actually. I think guests would probably enjoy sitting here if they're underway. Got all your flags, printer, radio charging, everything you need. So come on down, got a little coffee station just here, which you'll see in a second. And then this is down to the crew area, which we probably won't go down into because all the crew are on board, but you're just gonna have to imagine it. <laughs> so I think come with me aft 
and we'll check out the engine room. So if you're the skipper and you want to get to get out onto the deck, you go through this door. And if you want to serve the guests, you go through this sliding door just here. But to get into the engine space, okay, open door. Huh? Oh, I love that. Um, so it will open further. I'm just doing this very quickly. So down this space is how we access the engine compartment. So straight through here, we have a crew mess just here. I'll wait for you to catch up. Now, the crew can keep an eye on the boat through their cameras. They've got a screen just there. We've got a microwave, we've got a washing machine. Um, I'm not gonna go through all their personal items because as crew are living and working on board right now, but we're gonna go straight through here and Okay, power boards either side, watertight door, straight in. So these are the V12 mans. I think they're about 1,900 horsepower each. This boat has the capacity to do a 20, 22 knots. So I believe similar to the 120 that we've already tested. Just taking you through um, from starboard to port, these engines, they're mounted. They're a straight shaft setup. Um, but you can see the big stainless steel exhaust um, going out the top to the uh, starboard side on this particular boat. Um, we've got one genset 80 kVA on starboard and another genset 80 kVA on port. But before we get there, this stainless steel setup that you're looking at um, to the back of this motor is actually the water maker. And then we have a hot water cylinder. That looks like two hot water cylinders behind there. We have batteries, many batteries. We're going to have crank batteries and start batteries for gensets just in this location here. Don't know what that is. That's a genset just there so that's the mirroring 80 kva so this particular boat there's no day and night gen sets you just use one or the other because they both have the capacity to run all the systems on the boat toolbox just here escape hatch up here um, with a ladder and then our other motor on port on on the straight shaft and our chillers just over there on the port side so look, there's plenty more. I'm not an engineer, so I'm not gonna pretend I know everything about this area, but come on through. Let's uh, make our way out of the boat and wrap this video up. Alrighty, so we do have to do this a little bit on the fly, guys, particularly when there's buyers and crew doing their thing. So I appreciate this one is a little bit ad hoc, but what can I say about the Majesty 100? Um, she's an impressive boat. The, um, the calculations or the business case for running a boat like this as a charter boat, as well as an owner operator, um, it does make sense. So if you wanna buy something like this and then run it in charter through the season and use it at your leisure as well, there's, there's probably quite a good business case for one of these boats. Being able to customize it as you see fit is obviously a real advantage and knowing that Majesty or the guys at Golfcraft control all of that in-house so they can do whatever you like is probably something that's gonna to appeal to a lot of people as well. But what can I say? She's an impressive boat. I think it's a lot of fun to go out on for the day. I didn't get to go full speed. I would have loved to do that, but I saw what that was like on the 120. So I imagine this would be a similar experience as well. I hope that was useful for you guys. I hope you got something out of it. Like, subscribe. My name's Dan Jones. This has been Dan's Boat Life. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.